Hi, I'm Kyle Zanacco, endocrine surgeon at UCLA Health. Today, I'd like to talk to you about taking calcium after parathyroid surgery. After a parathyroidectomy, which is the surgical removal of one or more of your parathyroid glands, it's common to have changes in your blood calcium levels. This is because the parathyroid glands control calcium levels in your body, so removing them can change your calcium levels. At UCLA Health, we will prescribe calcium supplement medication to you after you have parathyroid glands surgically removed. Normally, we prescribe calcium in the form of Tums Calcium Carbonate Tablets. The dose of calcium medication and how often you take it will depend on your individual needs. Usually, regular strength 500 milligram Tums will be taken in a tablet form. Sometimes stores will sell extra strength or 1000 milligram tablets. For the first two weeks after surgery, it is common to need up to 12 Tums per day. It is important to follow the instructions provided by your surgeon regarding how much calcium medication you should take and how often you should take it. Usually, calcium medication is taken multiple times throughout the day after surgery to ensure appropriate calcium levels. Also, depending on your situation, we may recommend that you take vitamin D supplement medication, as taking vitamin D may help your body absorb calcium better. Vitamin D can come in an activated form called calcitriol. When you eat food, only about 10% of the calcium is absorbed by your body. Taking calcitriol can double that amount to about 20%. When you're at home, please keep an eye out for signs of low calcium. Most patients will feel numbness and tingling around their lips or in their fingers or toes when their calcium starts to get low. Without treatment, this can turn into muscle cramps or muscle spasms. If you have these feelings, it is okay to take one or two additional tablets of Tums to help yourself feel better, then contact your surgeon or endocrinologist. However, we do ask that you call us if you are taking more Tums than prescribed, because it is possible to overshoot and take too much calcium. It takes your body two to six weeks to recover from the surgery, and then patients will usually be able to take less and less calcium before finally stopping it altogether. It's important to remember that the information provided here is general in nature, and your recommendations may be different. Your endocrine surgeon or endocrinologist will give you personalized advice based on your specific medical history and needs. For more information, or to see a doctor specializing in parathyroid problems, please visit our website or call the number below. Thanks for watching.